Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece, except for today, because all of you wonderful subscribers have multiplied yet again, and we are currently sitting at a mighty 13,000, which means that it is time to celebrate by showcasing some more of your best channel comments. Enjoy! Kicking things off this time around, we have a question from Reese Zero Is. Reese Zero Is? Reese? Reese Zero Is. Why haven't I made it to the best channel comments yet? Well, quite simply, it's because you haven't said anything worth showcasing just yet. Keep trying though, I'm sure that one day you will be in a best channel comment special. Next up, I recently did a top 5 biggest gluttons list, and Mr. Long Neck Yeah felt that an addition was required. My fat ass should have been on that list. My apologies, good sir. Feel free to consider yourself the number six spot. Moving on, Juan Freight appears to have gotten a little overly excited about one of my arc reviews. The Clax odd this arc is intense as fuck. I love it. And not really knowing what Clax odd is, I felt the need to look it up with the very first result being fabric softener. So it's fantastic to know that Juan is having a good time with his clothing, as should we all. But there's no time for me to soften my clothing right now, because Crabs Crabs is about to drop a bombshell on us. Anyone who have long nose is considered as Saga Kings. Well, you heard the filthy crab. Pinocchio, Saga King. Mr. Burns, Saga King. Jeff Goldblum, Saga King. In fact, even Crabs Crabs himself is Saga King. Mind blown. Next up, we have a civil disagreement on the internet, who would have thought, brought to us by Ray is my name. Syrup Island is not at all bad. And when somebody types to me in a very aggressive all caps manner, I feel the need to reply to them in kind. Yes, it is. Of course, more often than not, people are just idiots who don't read what they've written before hitting post. Oops, I had caps. But then of course, Ray also had to keep up the debate. No, it's not. Now we have a comment taken from my top five best kings list from a user with the most adorable name in the world, Puppy Tracks. I best king. And oh yes you are, Puppy Tracks. Who's a good boy or girl? It's you. Moving forward, we have Mei Lin, who has made it her mission to butcher the English language as much as possible in a single sentence. I crazy BC, I love all this fruts of fuck, not the four, all so good and smart. And where do I even begin? You've used BC instead of because, your I isn't capitalized, but for reasons unknown, the T in your the is capitalized, you've used the number four rather than writing out four, and you've ended your statement on an unnecessary ellipsis. Honestly, the most solid English in this entire sentence is fruts a fuck. But hey, maybe we can count on Mikhail for an insightful and mature comment. Hey! Wanna review my grand line, winky face? Uh, you know what, sure. This is Mikhail's grand line. It's shit. But now it's time for the unnecessarily ornate utensil of the week with special guest Jumping Elliot. And this time around we have a rather swish golden fork. Jumping Elliot, what would one even do with a golden fork? I can eat a golden fork whilst I bake a snowflake pie. And, yeah, but now it's time to get down to business. Last week, you were all posed a very important question by the octopod known as Her Umne, and that question was, if Frankie presses his nose, does his pubic hair get a cut too? And Her Umne, it appears we have our answers. Starting things off, we have Nezumi. The answer is yes, but it just becomes a canon that doesn't do anything for the whole arc. But Nezumi, even you have to admit that a pubic hair canon would be pretty damn cool. Although Ricardo Henrique thought of a more defensive way to use Frankie's front lawn. When Frankie presses his nose, his pubic hair becomes a shield to protect his manhood from Nico Robin. Alas, I'm afraid that function may have been installed just a little bit too late, but that does not stop Orestes T from having complete faith in Frankie's abilities. Absolutely! Not only does Frankie control his pubes haircut, but also its color. If it's oily, brittle, or silk smooth. He can also shoot powerful rainbow lasers out of his wiener, a technique called Super Wiener. He might not have the will of D, but he does have a Super D. Although Philip C denied the existence of such a substance in the first place. Well, it probably would if he still had any. Unfortunately, he had them removed via laser surgery during the time skip. His own lasers, of course. And yeah, look, I can see that. Surely the first thing any of us would do if we could conjure lasers would be to open a laser hair removal clinic. But finally, Titan J had to hit us all with some cold, hard reality. Of course he can't. It's all mechanical down there. All nuts and bolts, also screws for the screwing. Lots of screwing. And with that, we're going to say that we've adequately answered this question and move on to the next. This time, our curious inquiry comes from Hyowin Kyoma, who asks, Will I lose my virginity? 
And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Given that you're asking this question in the YouTube comment section of an anime focused channel, I have to say it's not looking good for you, buddy. So with that adequately answered, let's move on to the real question, which comes from a member of the Grand Line Review Discord server known as Android16. Why don't Sanji's pants get damaged when he uses his fire kick? So there you go. Why don't Sanji's pants burn away when he uses Diablo Jumbo? I look forward to your answers to that. And that pretty much does it for this edition of the best channel comments. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are keen on supporting independent creators, then also feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.